Welcome one and all. And it's Trader's Corner, the 10th of August. I do a Trader's Corner the 10th of every month. Of course, like a fool, I posted my 20K giveaway yesterday on the 9th. So this is gonna come up really late on the 10th because I want a few people to see the giveaway thing and be able to go in. All you have to do, subscribe and then put a comment in of that video, not this one, that video, the giveaway video, and you're entered for the drawing and there's a bunch of different prizes. 12 good ones and number 13 is the walk of shame. It really is, it's, it's gonna be funny. But I mean, you gotta have a little fun when you're locked down with the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. So buy, sell, trade. That's what you're supposed to do on this channel. That's the whole point of Trader's Corner. Buy, sell, trade. And you do it in the comment section, okay? So go to the comment section. If you have something that you wanna buy, you wanna sell or trade, do it there. And if you want me to read it out on the air and put it in the comment section, uh, just contact me well be before the 10th. You know, do it at least by the 5th or 6th of the month because I do these on the 10th. But if you have things you're looking for to buy, sell, or trade, uh, and people are always getting a hold of me saying, hey, if you know anybody that this or that or whatever. So I'm kind of a clearing house as well because I try and keep track of who's looking for what. So let me know and I can put it on the air and that way you guys can connect and that'd be a good way to go. So I'm trying to put out content just to keep you guys amused. Some of you are necessary workers and some of you are not necessary. Apparently the government decides who is and who isn't. So, um, you know, I know it can get really old. I'm, I'm done. I'm done, okay, I'm all done with it. Uh, but 20K giveaway, check that, go in, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, put a comment in the comment section, God only knows you might win. It's always the guys that just don't believe they, they have a chance and they're always shocked. It's like, first time I've ever won anything, what the hell? Next, knife sale on the 15th of August and the 29th of August, and I mean, I've got a shite load of knives. I mean, I've got 60 on the table right now, and I've got a whole cart sitting off to the side I can't put up. I can only do 60 knives at absolute maximum per knife sale, because it just can't hold the, the section of uh, the list in the, in the description section. Uh, and that's where it's gotta go, okay? I tried it at the top of the comment section and it failed, it was miserable and it was a mess. So not doing that anymore. 55 to 60 knives maximum. And we've got some Patreons sending their knives in because I sell them for Patreons for free, okay? Um, there are, you know, $2 packing fee and then you gotta pay the shipping to the final buyer because I'm not going to pay that for you. But I mean, as opposed to selling it on eBay and all that crap, if you're a $10 Patreon, if you're a $5 Patreon, you, at least you get in early bird on the knife sales as well when you're five. So there you go. And so Patreons, you know, 13th and the 27th for the knife sale for you guys. And there's, there's just gonna be some really good ones. I'd love to tell you the brands and everything, but it's just, it's really gonna be some good ones on both the early and the late. I'm breaking them up. All right, couple of things I wanna tell you about. Uh, of course, the hats, $18 and you get a koozie, okay? These, 48 and I'll throw in a koozie. And I mean, these things, by the time I pay for them, because these are not cheap to make, and you know, I know I'm not gonna sell a million of them because you buy one every, what, 30 years? I mean, it might even be generational, you know? So that's crazy, but by the time I ship it to you, and they're costing like eight, nine dollars to ship because USPS is really catching me hard. So I, I might make three bucks, but I just wanted a product with my, my logo on it and get some stuff out there. And I'm looking at doing some t-shirts and if you look at my uh, my giveaway uh, 
video, I show you the t-shirts and you can decide whether you like. I may do camo with hunter orange and then just a regular kind of field of green, kind of a lighter green with the orange. I don't know. I'm not done uh, with that and I haven't even put an order in yet. Okay. Uh, big deal on Patreon drawing for you Patreon guys. Now I'll, I'll message you through that Patreon thing, but the giveaway or the drawing for Patreons, there's a monthly for the $10 guys, a monthly drawing. So this uh, month, it's going to be the Olight Perrin, P-E-R-U-N. You can look it up and the Kaiser Clutch with, uh, with uh, Micarta. And I don't have them here on the table, but uh, look them up, the Kaiser Clutch in Micarta and the Olight Perrin, which is a 2000 lumen rechargeable and it comes with all the battery and all the headband and all the stuff. So that'll be for you guys. Uh, you know what? Really important to get the word out to some of you guys that are upset about Tucson Knives, Canada and Australia. He had stopped shipping to them because China Post was not doing it. And so he had to get alter alternate shipping to even send to the USA. So it's been a pain in the ass because of the pandemic. I mean, everything's in the pain in the ass because of the pandemic. So, so the Australian, I mean, one of them goes, screw you Tucson, I need to quit shipping. But they didn't, it's China post quit shipping. And he goes, as soon as that kind of clears, we'll resume and that and Canada as well. Uh, oh, hey, you know what? Two your knives, Dave Warren, check him out. He's got a really good thing going on now. And and it's the two your knife envy, but check this out. See the back side and the front side? So this is actually, and I don't know, they're showing the front side here. This is a liner lock with, I think they say cross cut or something carbon fiber so it looks kind of a reddish and then a regular black so uh he has a deal and pause and read but i'll give you the link to two you knives and then go on their facebook and check them out because these look really interesting the good thing about them they're not a frame lock so they look the same front or back okay yeah nice and carbon fiber so they're pretty lightweight and it's the NV2, and I think he's calling it the NV3. And then he had a deal where it was the that and a leather slip pouch and a boot knife, all for one low price and that kind of thing. So, and now he posted that like on August 3rd. So this is the 10th. So you're not, I don't think you're too late and try and contact him because that's a real good deal. And maybe he'll let you use LTK for a 5% discount as well, okay? Okay, remember my buddy, Blade Banter, okay, David, um, and he's got Orion, okay, the Solaris, okay, on Kickstarter. I went on, I signed up, I think it was 80 bucks to get a knife, and it's a push button knife, and uh, it's G10 handles, push button, it looks really interesting, and I'll give you the link to his Kickstarter. He's getting close to getting fully funded, so maybe you guys can help push him over the top and get this done, because I think he's really excited about it. It's really a cool thing to see a young guy um, doing, you know, really cool stuff, and I like it. I, I think the knife... The design of the knife appeals to me um, until I get it in my hand. I don't know, but I'm, I'm signed up. I want one, okay? I'm going to try and do what I can to help out by putting the word out there. And, of course, I've already bought one. But if it, if it gets fully funded, then they'll charge your card, okay? Not until then, from what I could tell. Check this out. Ganzo. So this is a different knife, right? This is interesting, and I can't—I I don't know if I got the model right in front of me. No, I don't. But I think it's an FH. 
943 or something like that. It's really strange, but this is D2. Interesting, huh? They're on AliExpress. I talked to uh, John at Power Cutlery, and they're on their way, so it might be another 10 days or so before he has them in stock. But, you know, that'll be quicker than the two or three weeks if you buy them all on AliExpress, right? So you might just as soon wait for them to get in stock at Power Cutlery and then jump in. I just thought I'd show you a picture of what they look like. You know, that's interesting. And, I mean, uh, this other picture shows that they have this optional plug, see right there, that goes in that cutout. So you can have like a, a thumb stud, you know, a thumb ramp, whatever. BJ Hill, okay? Hilltop Knives and Gear. Look him up on um, YouTube, and he's got an Instagram channel. Check him out on Instagram. I'll give you the link to his Instagram, okay? What's interesting is he's doing all kinds of knife mods. Now, um, and maybe he can go full-time with it. I heard that he was... Uh, between jobs or something he started doing this and he's really doing a good job check this out just for instance right here's the yo jumbo spider co yo jumbo now when i did my review i'm going I'm right on top of here and then i'm right on top of here with this i don't like the humpty humps got this back from him Humps are gone. Isn't that interesting? Check that out. Okay. I have to look to see if I'm getting it in the camera. But you know, okay. Now look at here. This part right here, okay. He deleted it and put a choil there. So now when you drop this like that, it doesn't come and hit your finger. It just drops. Boom, like that. How great is that? Now, look at the blade. Other than that, you got this running out here. Now, maybe you like that, so that's optional, but look it. It goes straight now. It's a true warning, and it drops like a rock, and he modified the scales, plus he went along and hit a lot of these areas to really kind of give them the final really nice feel there so uh, he really cleaned it up he did a great job with the blade and he put a mirror edge as you can see on there that's his yo jumbo and he could do that on your yo himbo and he's doing that post delete on the shaman where it hits your finger too right because here's the yo him here's the yo jumbo right that's as far as it closes, it's hitting my finger, okay? When you close it the rest of the way, here comes the nub, okay? So that delete, and it gives you a nice choil in there too, which means you can roll up forward on this, and it's a big hoss anyhow. I was thrilled, but I go, can you do this? Because it's the trope and the infamous ever dangerous tropen and maybe i'm making too much of it but the blade came up into this area i mean the blade was exposed exposing this see the bird shot video my video on it all that kind of stuff but what he did is he opened up this choil here well for two things happen now you can get your finger up here before this was pointed back and you couldn't fit your finger up here unless you just buried it right here. But now, you can grab this thing like that, okay? And when it drops, the flipper tab, yes, the flipper tab's still there, so it's gonna come back and get you, but no exposed blade, okay? So, not a problem at all. Come on, there you go, see? But this, I've always liked this knife because the nice contoured polished G10 is freaking awesome. I like the knife and now I like it even better and he put a mirror edge on that too. 
This thing slices, cuts, it's light, it's slender, it's long, it's a big knife, but it's a hell of a carry now, and it's not scary. Good carry, not scary. I love it. So, and I sent him a couple of other knives because he can do flame anno. He can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm, I'm having him do some stuff on several knives. And I'll get back to you on that. I'm going to do a video on these mods coming up. And I sent him another knife today to mod out. It's going to be really cool. And it's going to be kind of crazy. You're going to like it, though, a lot. Another thing, oh, Blade HQ. I saw this on Blade HQ. You know, it's the Boker. It's a Kalishnikov. Here you go. Uh, check that out, okay? But this is 10.6 inches overall length. This is the double XL. This is 4.75 inch blade of not OS8, D2. This is D2, okay? Wow. That's a hoss, isn't it? <laughs> 62 smackers. Not bad. Not bad for an auto. I like it. Comes in a great box if I could hold on to it. There you go. So, hey, all I can say in the words of Moses, a.k.a. Charlton Heston, out of my cold, dead hands.